Hi, Stefano Malaya, San Diego criminal defense lawyer and partner at the Lofts at David Shapiro, where we help good people regain control of the future when charged with a crime. Today, we'll be talking to you about the three biggest mistakes people make when served with a restraining order. First, let's get a few key terms defined. The protected party is the person who asked and received the restraining order. The restrained party is the person who is prohibited from contacting or being near the protected party, the person who got served. A lot of times, the person getting served with a restraining order lives with the person asking for it. The order will usually prohibit you from returning to your common residence. The only way you're able to go back to, go to get some of your belongings is with a police escort. Do not go when the other person is not home or try to send a friend. Another big one is believing falsely that if the protected party contacts you, that means either they violated an order or that now you're permitted to respond. Seriously, this is the biggest trap of all. If the person who got the restraining order against you contacts you in any way, make a note of it, take a screenshot, but do not reply in any way. That would be a violation of the court order and can lead to a criminal charge in itself. Finally, especially in cases where there is a restraining order that happens after an arrest, the biggest mistake I see is people dealing with the restraining order without consulting with a criminal defense lawyer. Everything you say or write during the restraining order proceedings, whether you discuss the allegations or not, can be used against you in a potential criminal prosecution. Don't try to take one step forward when it can cost you 10 steps back. Hope this was helpful. If you have questions, give me a call. Stefano Malaya, San Diego Criminal Defense Attorney, 619-295-3555.